Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix here. Let's see what's up with the last mission in Battle 6. So, that's... A lot of things. Email. Yeah, I will not play the combat chamber missions in reimagined campaign. So, how does it look like, or how, what what will happen here? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what's new or what's this mission. I wouldn't think that the next uh, the story for the next battle starts. Or anything. This is just maybe, maybe just an, some kind of an interlude before getting into the Thai defense. Thai, thai defender, Thai defense. <laughs> okay, let's see. Interlude. Wow. <laughs> After your success. It we have loaded the supplies and materials of the Magpulse project onto our cargo ferries and are now ready to transport them back to Admiral Zarin's research base. You will jump back with the cargo ferries to ensure their safe arrival. Once completed, you will then have new orders to proceed to the Omar system. This is the primary manufacturing base of the TIE Advanced Starfighter. Admiral Zarin has completed work on a new tractor beam weapon system that can be fitted on the TIE Advanced and also the TIE Defender. Your squadron needs to be retroactively fitted with this new technology. As such, you will also be flying to Omar along with a squadron of newly produced TIE Defenders where they will also receive the upgrade. Once you arrive at Omar, simply dock at the main research facility, Omar Prime. With the rebels defeated, there should be no opposition along your journey, though there is still at least one midpoint jump you will have to go through. As always, remain alert for any potential threats. We have loaded the supply. Okay. Materials at the mag. So, yeah, already introducing the Omar system. Cool. Also, it's not a. It's nice storytelling. Storytelling with going there and stuff like that. But also, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that there will be an opposition because then, what's the mission about? It's be pretty boring. Okay. After your success at capturing the GEC base, we have now completed loading all related materials and supplies of the Magpulse weapon technology to our cargo ferries and will take them back to Admiral Zarin's research base. Their board members and technicians have already revealed much useful information. You will escort our cargo ferries back to their research base and ensure their safe arrival. After this, you will set a course for the Omar system, where our main TIE Advanced factories are located. Here your craft will be retrofitted with the new tractor beam weapon system, developed by Admiral Zarin's research team. Alongside you will be a squadron of newly completed TIE Defenders, which are also transferring to this sector for further upgrades and final testing. You will be flying the TIE Advanced designated Delta-1 along with seven wingmen. As we have decisively destroyed the Rebels' ability to operate in this sector, no opposition is expected, so this should be a nice, quiet escort mission for you. That said, Always stay alert for the unexpected and stand by for any further orders in flight. Sure, sure. Quiet escort mission. If it's actually a quiet escort mission, then I will be surprised. Okay, I get missiles. Yeah. Foreshadowing. Okay, let's go. Attempt number one. Cargo Delta 1 and prepare to jump. 
This is Cargo Ferry Cello 1 to Delta 1. We're initiating our jump. See you on the other side. Oh, what's happened with my viewport? No, I was just too fast. Okay, please don't ram into me. So, we are at the Tide Defender Research Facility. Stand by, Delta Group. Tide Defender Group Kappa is launching momentarily. Just checking out the scenery. Delta Group, Tide Defender Group Kappa is now launching. Once they form up, proceed on your way to the Omar system. Twelve Tide Defenders. Can't wait to try out this new beam deck, eh, Delta One? I heard it even stops A-Wings in their tracks. Activating the hyper buoy now. Good luck. What do you mean, good luck? This is just a quiet escort mission. <laughs> oh, what? Venator. This is the cruiser Felix. We've been disabled and boarded by pirates. Requesting immediate assistance. Yeah, sure. Defender Kappa 1 to unknown forces. Disengage immediately or be destroyed. Yeah, let's rush ahead. What's the best? Die advance group Delta and Tide Defender Group Kappa. Engage enemy forces. A1, attacking crap. What's the worst that can happen? Another bandit down. Got him. Five. I'm having trouble over here. Red Devil and stuff like that. Okay, what was the pirate group? Uh, I don't remember. What was the name of the pirate group? Nami. Another bandit down. Damn. Okay, let's use some missiles. Or not. Down. Okay, they didn't li really leave too much to me. Okay, what are you guys attacking? Enemy starfighters. GSP. They barely lasted a minute. Looks like that got their attention. Enemy corvettes are moving to try and screen the destroyer. Take them out first. This is eight. I'm having trouble over here. We took them out! This is two! I've got a starship firing at me! This is four. Got some trouble over here. Their history! Let's go for the gunships first. Now that's a pretty picture. Reinforcements have arrived. Enemy destroyer is retreating. Oh! I thought I will be dead. Okay. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're shooting at the debris. Kappa and Tide Advanced Group Delta proceed on to the Omar system. That's enough excitement for one day, I think. Thanks for the rescue, guys. We managed to resist their boarding attempt for the most part, but they still took some materials and captured a couple of crew members. Someone called Ali Tarek was leading the attack. I think they were after information about the Tide Advanced. Ah, foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Oh, did we lose, l lose anyone? Yeah, you should have brought um, Interdictor. Yeah, we didn't lose anyone. Yeah, that would, be, it would have been embarrassing to a guy who would have died too. Just 
C95s. I wonder if destroying that Venator is a bonus goal. Well, we'll see tomorrow. Damn! Oh. Look at the size of that fleet. Picking up dozens of tide marks on sensors. It's like a second empire out here. Yeah, I, um, the FPS is quite bad. Delta One, primary mission objectives completed. This is overprime. Tide defender group Kappa. Hi, Advanced Group Delta. Welcome. Please proceed to dock your craft in our hangar. We will then begin retrofitting your craft immediately with the new beam weapon. Hmm. Why are those escort carriers uh, not inspected? Okay, maybe it's just a smaller from Angel. But yeah, this FPS is not good. Yeah, recently I'm experiencing some... Oh, Hindenburg is here. Experiencing some... Um, in some cases, performance issues on my machine. But I don't know if it can be... Or if, if it's my machine or if it's uh, something else. That's a lot of tide events. Yeah, okay. Let's land on Omar. Omar. This thing. Report to the debriefing room at once. Is the beam weapon completed? Yes, Admiral Zarin. We are ready to deploy the weapon. Excellent. Begin arming my fighter squadrons at once. Yes, sir. Yeah, now with this mission, that uh, cutscene makes much more sense. Good work. You safely arrived at the Omar system along with the TIE defenders. What was unexpected was how these pirates managed to engage and disable one of our ships carrying vital personnel. Our scans showed the pirate flagship belongs to a faction called the Nami, led by Ali Tarek. The Nami used to reside in the Galactic Core, but were driven to the Outer Rim during the Clone Wars, and have since been forgotten. This may explain their use of a Clone War era Star Destroyer. It seems they now mostly live as a nomadic tribe rather than on any single planet. This bold attempt to capture personnel and materials related to the TIE Advance project is a cause of grave concern. We cannot have pirates flying around with access to such advanced technology. Intelligence has been tasked with tracking this group down so they present no further threat to us in the future. Admiral Zarin has been making sure production of the TIE Advance reaches its full potential. Dozens of squadrons of these vastly superior starfighters are now making their way into the Imperial fleet. However, he seems to be inappropriately outfitting many of the ships under his command first for these new fighters, rather than deploying them where they may be needed the most. Along with the unusually large convoys he has been recently receiving, we are concerned he may be overstepping his authority. We will have to keep a closer eye on him in the future. For now, as soon as your squadron has been upgraded with the new tractor beam system, you are being reassigned to the modified frigate Osprey, as we have finally located the Victory Star Destroyer Protector and her remaining escorts. Ooh, yeah, this was a light interlude mission. I was not expecting to see a Venator. I know, I knew it is in the mod but I was expecting it later. Also, Nami this early. Do they show up in battle? 
9, 10, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, um, I mean in the original game they show up at that time. But this was a fun little mission. A uh, little bit of a slaughter. <laughs> See that if I said no match for Thai Advance and Thai Defenders. But at least uh, the Thai Defenders were not useless. They helped. Yeah. Okay, that's it. See you in the next one. of the secret board to carry out your mission. They have proved most valuable.